I'm T Pain, and welcome to Let's Learn C++. Today I'll be using Visual Studio Community Edition. All right, so protected. When you get poked by a tic tac, you are being teched. If that poke happened yesterday, you were teched. Now, if you are against being teched, you are anti-teched. However, if you like being teched, then you are protected. Wow, that took a long time to get to that joke. Protected is the last of the access specifiers. In one of the previous tutorials, we learned about public and private, and now we will cover the last, protected. Protected class members act as private to anything outside of the class hierarchy. However, inside the class hierarchy, those same members act as public. So, in other words, protected is a keyword that acts as private outside the class and acts as public within the class and the class hierarchy and the inheriting classes. That's it, it's just that simple. All right, so let's look at an example. All right, so here we have our simple base class called my base class. We have a public, a protected, and a private set of functions that don't actually do anything. It's just to illustrate the compiler errors that'll come up. All right, so now I'm gonna expand our derived class that inherits from our base class. In the constructor, we are calling pub, prot, and priv, the functions within each of these. So our public function acts just as normal. Our protected function works just fine. So we can access protected in an inheriting class. However, our private function does not. We get a compiling error saying that function is inaccessible. And we will see the exact same stuff in our second derived class here that inherits from my derived. Again, public works, protected works, but our private does not. It results in an error. And if we look at our instantiation of our second derived, we see that pub works fine, protected does not, and our private does not. It results in access errors right here and here. Perfect, just as we'd expect. And the C++ core guidelines has two things to say about using the keyword protected. C.35 says base class destructor should be public and virtual, or it should be protected and non-virtual. What does this mean? Well, if you have a public destructor for your base class, you should make it virtual so that it doesn't actually get called. Instead, the inheriting class or derived class destructors get called because destroying the base class will only cause problems because your, your subclass instantiation will still exist. So, that could result in problems. The solution to this is to make it public and virtual or to make it protected and non-virtual. By making it protected, you are allowing it to be called by the inheriting classes or the derived classes. C.133 says, avoid protected data. It's a source of a lot of complexity and errors and often leads to dealing with virtual inheritance which is very messy. So on the whole, the reason I've delayed teaching you this is because it's not always the most desirable to use because again, it results in a lot of complexity and errors. Instead, encapsulation could provide you the solutions that you're looking for in a lot cleaner manner. And that's what we'll be covering in our very next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Great job keeping up. Challenge your skills at hackerrank.com. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. And as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.